Hey folks, I just wanted to do a video on the grill for the W124. Some things I've noticed uh, and just show some of the parts that I've ordered and, and just how that worked. So this is a grill I got from the junkyard. Uh, actually just the frame. The actual insert was, was broken. Um, and so I had got this uh, aftermarket piece because they don't make this plastic uh, mesh anymore. So there you can see the part number. And pretty much the ones made in Taiwan seem to be pretty good. It's a nice color. Um, there are some fitment issues. So as you go and start putting these strips in, you'll have to kind of push it until it breaks the, you can tell the molding wasn't exactly perfect. Uh, so you have to kind of push it until, until it kind of cuts the, the hole through that area and shaves the plastic off. So that's just one of these things where it's an aftermarket part. You can't get the Mercedes part anymore. So that's, uh, that's the best you can do. This part, yeah, I don't think you can get this uh, chrome piece anymore. And so this one's in pretty good shape. So, you know, nothing, nothing about that. Um, but I do have some notes here about the grill pieces. So these parts here, these are original to the car that I took the, the piece off of. So this was probably... Uh, I think it was an 87 260e and so they have this style of uh, bar that goes across and the side that's closest to the edge is kind of smashed in and i'm guessing that's where they cut it so uh and then what you do is slide it between these holes here and this is the part that when you get the aftermarket part, you're going to have to go back and forth a bunch of times to make sure it fits. So here, if I show it, it's going to slide under here. Uh, let's see. There it is. Okay. So, yep, it goes like that. And then you to kind of push it under there, let, guide it through all the way until it butts up against here. So this style is definitely the easiest to install. A lot of ones on eBay are going to be like that. This is an actual genuine part. Uh, so just looking at what they have in the Mercedes parts catalog, I decided to just order different parts. So I have all these new parts in the bag and I'm going to fit them to the grill and just kind of show why I think it's worthwhile to get the genuine Mercedes part. When I ordered the replacement for the chrome trim here, the horizontal chrome trim, uh, I got I got it pretty quickly and I think they were somewhere about $18 each. It looks really good and uh, the length is correct. It's actually matching the uh, original ones perfectly, except it's a little different. So here you can see it's just kind of, uh, let's see if I can focus. So here you can see it doesn't have a little foot on the bottom. And here's a side-by-side. -side. So the new part that I ordered here, there's no bottom piece to clip it in place. There's the original part that came on that junkyard grill where it has this bottom foot. So what you're supposed to do with the newer ones is that there's a clip. So here's the clip part number. And then here's the part number for the horizontal molding. And so let me try to show how that works. Basically you, you use four clips per molding. So in all in all, you'll need 24 clips 
And so you kind of just slide them through the end here until they get to the right place. And when you go to put it on, you can already see where they go. And there's a different way you could do this too. But basically, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put it here and then show you can put it in that little groove and just snap it into place. And let's get the next clip, push it down. Just do that for each one. So here it is actually installed. So with these ones here, definitely you can't pull it out. This is the one with the feet on the bottom. They're not coming out. Now this one's you can, if you pull it hard enough, you'll be able to pull it out and you can see that clip. But yeah, the clip does hold it in there pretty well. And once it's all together, I don't think it's gonna be going anywhere. So that's the style that I have here. The other thing that was interesting was just the vertical moldings. So when I ordered those, I got some ones, uh, just generic ones. I got a pack of four of them in case I want to rebuild grills that I get from the junkyard. And so here, if you look, I had to cut off a couple millimeters here. So I don't know something like three millimeters, four millimeters. I just used a uh, saw to do it. And I got it as close as I could. Uh, but then I got the real part. And the real part is basically the genuine part from Mercedes. It's already the correct length. And it's hard to capture it on camera, but if you set them side by side, the, the genuine part has more of a curve to it too. So what ends up happening is if you put the aftermarket one in here, slide it in, just kind of slides through. So the aftermarket one, I slid it through. You can tell there's a little gap right here. And that's where that extra bend for the genuine part comes into play. Same up here. When you get the genuine one, it's going to be flush. And so, yeah, if you don't mind cutting it yourself and then and then having it off a little bit, the generic ones, that's fine. But I was happy to see that. So here's the part number on that vertical molding. And so once you put that on there, it'll look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the rest of these on this piece. And then I have some other goodies here too that are all new old stock. Here's the other five pieces for the horizontal one. Then I have some of the original hardware here that you use for uh, mounting it in place. And there's the original uh, grill badge that's definitely seen better days. Here's the vertical piece fit. This is the genuine piece. And just look how tight that is. It fits perfect all along there. So I think it's definitely worth it for the extra couple dollars to just get the genuine parts. Yeah, and here's the one that uh, was put there with the clips. I took the others off. I'll keep this for rebuilding, ones from the junkyard, along with some of my old parts there. But yeah, I'll go ahead and get the rest of these on, the horizontal pieces, and then I'll put it in here. Uh, even got the hood ornament, so that's an important one too number on that guy there is an orientation for these clips too and it's a little hard to show but one side has the Mercedes symbol and the other side has kind of an edge that you can grip on and so I'm putting them all the same way and I'm installing it so that that little edge goes under here and so Yeah, that's definitely a lot harder to pull out than if you put it the other way. This way it just seems to come out a little easier. Not a lot, but yeah, when you have it, uh, and you can always slide it like this too, under here, just like the original part where there's the foot. And here it is with all of them installed. So each of these 
when I had the clips on, I had the clip facing the bottom part so that the hook goes down. And so there's basically four clips on each bar. This vertical piece fits very nicely. So the next part is to, let's get it in the frame and start assembling it. And on the bottom, there's a screw hole. So that's what keeps the plastic in place. So get that down there, get those two feet pieces under the lip here. And there we go. And look at that, like without much work at all, the vertical piece fits pretty much perfectly. And just from that fitment, there's a couple of scratches on it. So I'll um, be able to polish those out, no problem. They're already kind of coming out with just finger, finger presses, but yeah, just goes to show it fits perfectly. And then you just got to pay attention to the top where this uh, hole is. Once you have it in here enough, that's where this little piece here goes. So I'll put the part number for this in the description, but this is a 201 part number. And on the back, yeah, it'll say 201. And there's just a little notch to help you keep it aligned. And there's a notch on here too, on the bottom. So pretty hard to get it wrong. And then it's just gonna go through the Oh, yeah, you know what? I have the nut on here. Go ahead and take that off. And the washer. So those go on the other side. Great. Stand that back up. Okay, perfect. It's in the notch. On this side and this is eight millimeter so I'll get that tightened up and lined up off camera and already you can see it's starting to come together much nicer and then one of the things to keep that grill in place, because it, it can come loose, is that there are the, the actual pieces here to the clips that will hold that plastic in place. So I'll actually put those in next uh, before fully doing everything. And then here's the screw that goes in the bottom. So I'll go ahead and put that in there too. So I just got the screw in with the Phillips head and it just kind of goes through there. There you go. And you do have to push this down a little bit as you're doing it. And then there's the clips here. The short clips go in the bottom. The tall clips go on top. We got the grill all back together. I've tightened up this little piece here. The screw is through and it's tight. Got the clips on each four of the things. And then I, I have the original uh, bolts here. So these are also eight millimeter and these are what secures it to the car. So just got to take those off before installing. But the only thing left now is to put the star in place. So I got that and it's pretty easy. So I mean, the way it's leaning, you want it to lean backwards, like towards the driver. And you just kind of drop it in there. Once you pull it through, then make sure it's flat. And then the next part, you just have to get your channel locks out, your pliers. And then basically what you do is pull down here, turn it clockwise until this little piece here, that little divot, 
it goes and, and makes contact with this little tab. So like if I'm just gonna show by hand, I can't do it very well, but here, you pull it, turn it this way, and this, this will turn basically a quarter turn right to here. For the last part, just got the channel locks. Just gonna open them up a little bit to the right uh, amount, something like that. Grab it right here. So now you can see, barely see, that little tab is lined up. So that's all it takes. It's a little easier to do it off of the car, but you can totally do it on the car too. You can do the install on the car too. So yeah, now that's basically it. And boom, you got yourself a great looking grill, all Mercedes parts, and ready to go back on. So here's the finished result on the car. Nice to have that blue on there. All of the uh, horizontal pieces look good. The vertical piece looks great. And then so for my old one, which was still okay, I got it on the wall up here. So right in front of where I park, I just got the Mercedes Benz and then my old grill and it's zip tight on there. So even if it falls, it's not gonna actually fall. So that's my backup. And that's it for this video. So thanks 